the Northampton hooker John Olver, and John Hall returning to the international arena after a three-year absence on the blindside flank. Nigel Heslop, who played in both tests against the Pumas last summer, wins his first cap in this country, as does Jason Leonard. The Pumas, too, are much changed and continue with their policy of blooding young players. One new cap, the 19-year-old Gonzalo Camardon at scrum half. One other change from the side which lost in Dublin, Matthias Allen replaces the injured Garcia Simon in the centre. Commentators for the national power match, Bill Beaumont and Nigel Starmer-Smith. The Argentines then with uh, a host of changes. One of particular note is Federico Mendez at loose head prop because he is just 18, turned that figure in August. And uh, in my experience, I'd imagine the youngest ever to play as a prop forward in international rugby. Quite remarkable. Referee Colin Hawke is 35, new to international refereeing. His first was last week. I hope he doesn't add on quite so much injury time this time. Rob Andrew for England. Full house. And 55,000 here. A tribute to the form and support of England and to the significance of the touring Argentines. Well, line out is where Ackford and Dooley will hope to dominate these youngsters. Well, certainly, Nigel, but I think Ackford and Dooley probably the best pairing around at the moment, and certainly the Argentinian youngsters will have the work cut out to get anything off these two lads this afternoon. Ackford, support from Richards, setting up the drive. In goes Hill to Andrew, Carling, looking for the switch to the blindside wing, hangs on as uh, Rory just overran him a little. In front of the up to the 22, Andrew, Carling, Guskett, the bounce tackle by Cuesta Silva. And Argentina under considerable early pressure. And a hand in the ruck gives England a penalty, head on to the post, 35 metres out. So it's Hodgkinson, 103 points in international rugby and 26 against Argentina in the summer tests. Head on to the posts and straight between them. A well-deserved opening for England and Hodgkinson, after just about five minutes, puts England ahead. Drew Carling, Underwood in from the right, but has clung to. Paul. Inside the 22, midfield. Referee quick to uh, blow on the pile-up. And again, the driving of Hall. Yes, he's featured in quite a few movements, John Hall. That really, it's the set-piece play that's letting Argentina down, that England are winning good ball, they're committing them in midfield and then moving it out once they've committed that midfield. So far, Argentina starved of possession as England win it again. Hill sees a chance here. He's gone through all the way. Hill's solo effort. Great score. He left them all mesmerised. They were looking as to whom he was going to pass to, and he just kept going. Hill's second international try is first against Wales. This was a pure solo effort. And we see the Argentinian defence, six and seven here. Poor tackling there by the back row and the fullback, but good determined play by Richard Hill that he had the overlap. They showed him the gap, and he went. Seven nil. Hodgkinson with the conversion attempt. It's close and bounces over off the upright. Yes, this was a, a chance, a half chance to start with, but he had the pace and that little show of the ball, the dummy inside committed two defenders and he wrong-footed them and just kept going. He's holding up, but England with clean possession. The sort of thing that Hill practices is time and again. Puts the winger under enormous pressures. Hill there to recover it. Rob Andrew, Underwood wide out against this corner. Underwood flying. Underwood all the way.
tremendous score. And that was brilliance from Underwood. A tremendous kick here by Richard Hill. Look at the pressure that Nigel Heslop puts the defender under. But as soon as Rob Andrew gets it here, and Underwood has the overlap, there's no stopping this lad. But they show him the outside, and no hesitation there for Underwood. He beats two, three defenders, just showing his strength, uses that left arm. Tremendous try. Two superb tries. Hodgkinson from the touchline. It's well struck. Well, uh, pretty satisfied, contented Jeff Cook, I would suggest, at this moment, with that flurry of uh, England scoring. Of Looking for a, a way through. High tackle. And we see it now that certainly they had one go at him and Hugo Pilter uh, gets Nigel Heslop round the neck there on the uh, on the second attempt of tackle. Certainly no hesitation from referee Colin Hort there in awarding this penalty kick. Two conversions in the penalty already by Hodgkinson. 110 international points. And this just is ninth international. Oh, that's a fine kick. Okay, he had a bit of a breeze with him, but uh, really is consistently effective. And so England boil somewhat, and Argentina have left them something of a challenge still. And someone who will have a particularly uh, close perspective with a monitor. I'm delighted to say we provided for him is the chairman and manager of the England team, Jeff Cook, with the replacements bench alongside him. So it's 18-0, Argentina, with quite a contingent of supporters. You can see uh, the odd umbrella and flag in those pale blue and white colours around the ground. Not the best restart for them. So England will scrummage back. And then with a new look in this new season with five changes from the side that went down at Buddyfield in the Grand Slam encounter. Heslop, Leonard, Oliver, Richards. And John Hall, of course. So we're... Still waiting for adventure, perhaps from both fly halves. Back from Ackford, Andrew. England have it. Hill, Andrew. Rory Underwood on the outside again. Collard this time. Andrew on the inside. side is PC Richards. Hill once again, gap almost open before him, closed again. Hill did, uh, Hall did well. Back from Richards to the open side, Andrew has Porter at him. Offside. This was the build-up. Two penalties, two conversions by Hodgkinson already. And a tally of 18 points to nil. No mistake. They covering from the left. But England have possession. Andrew. Again, Underwood set to chase as Escorta goes back. Had no option. They've waited too long. It may come now. Hill takes out Porter. It's there somewhere. Underwood scrum half. Rob Andrew. 
has a double, is held by Kamargon. Once again, Hill, Winterbottom, Underwood looping round, it's a scoring pass. A brace for Rory Underwood, set up by the pack, and finished off cleverly by Peter Winterbottom's turning pass. With every score, Rory Underwood adds to the... Uh, record tally and that was well judged by Winterbottom who's sometimes been criticised for his uh, handling over the years but he seems to have worked on it and no one could have done better in the timing of that Underwood racing it in <laughs> 25 nil and two more that's a pretty Solid commitment from the England forwards as they try to win back second phase. It's Argentina having to play rugby on the defensive now and England have really got the, the game by the scuff of the neck simply by the power of the front five forwards. Hill, varying the plays well. Richards, the back row is a wedge. Dooley finds Hill. There's a three-man overlap here, Carling took it well, Guscott screams through the middle, all the way home. Magnificent by the England pack, notably the back row, and then it was, well, one was going to say, pick your try scorer, they didn't need to send it further than Jerry Guscott for his eighth England try. Good play again there. You see as the ball comes out there, Jerry Gusset comes on a short ball and just sighs through the defence there. There's no stopping this lad, but certainly, but as you've mentioned, Nigel, it's good play again by the front five, the back row, all linking. So can he keep up his 100% record of try conversions? Hodgkinson. Slotting them home with disdain almost. Up to 33 points, and England starting the second half just as they began the first. Oh dear. Sporleda and uh, a little flurry with Jason Leonard. One or two players uh, to be in the wars on the deck. The touch judge, the touch judge has a flag raised for foul play. Ken McCartney and uh, Ackford is the man down on the deck. Mendez is being uh, called across. And the player, this young lad, is being sent from the field. Federico Mendez, the appeals of Hugo Porta, but referee Colin Hawk having none of it. And to add to Argentina's woes, a blow clearly on the Paul Ackford has seen the 18-year-old prop Federico Mendez sent off. As we uh, look again at uh, a sad incident, there it is. Well. Thank goodness it was seen because you cannot have that sort of incident on a rugby field. Certainly a right hook there and the referee was definitely right to send him off there. That uh, No place for that on the rugby field. Well, not the first man on this tour to have been sent off. Lonardi, the prop, who is uh, suspended for six weeks as a result. And look at the state of Paul Ackford. Adds to the problem, 33 points to nil. About seven minutes to make it to go. And England will want to lay it on a bit. Straight through is John Hall. That marks his comeback. Well, a flanker short. 
there really was little to stop the 16 stone flanker on his return to England colours. What a way to make you come back here that you see the scrum wheels round, John Hall picks up and all he has to do is straighten it against seven men, no wing forwards there, ten yards from the line and really it was just the pressure of the England forwards against a seven-man pack there. Here it is again, you see the wing forwards taken out there, he tackles Peter Winterbottom and that opens the gap for John Hall. Five tries. Just one miss out of eight kicks. Hodgkinson maintains that remarkable record. Such a vital element of uh, present-day rugby, Winterbottom. Oliver rolling it round. Bill waits. Andrew Carling. This move, Hodgkinson. Cleverly done. There's pace here. Guscott and Underwood, they're clear. Underwood, not a deliberate tackle, but Guscott follows up anyway. It matters not who scores it. And England's adventure rewarded. The crowd enraptures. And Guscott matching try for try with Rory Underwood. The, the pass there, missing out of man by Will Carney. It looks as though that Simon Hoskins could have gone in on his own, but cleverly he kept the ball in field. And there we see that uh, Rory Underwood, was he impeded? He probably was, but I think the referee quite rightly plays advantage in there, Jerry Guscott, who took the ball extremely well then to score. 19 points for Simon Hodgkinson. Tremendous percentage success. And yes, again. 90%. And 45 points to nil. We come into the last minute of play. His luck. Hodgkinson to Underwood, relishing his chance. This time, uh, Guscott. Reese. Wade Dooley. Hill. It's all on here. Winterbottom the link. Carling. Still Carling. Hodgkinson. Underwood for the hat trick. Brilliant. England rampant. It doesn't matter who was going to score here. It looked as though Will Carley had been half stopped there. But he makes the ball available. Simon Hodgkinson just caught here. But just looked who's popped up from the left wing. Rory Underwood to crown. An outstanding display by England this afternoon with a try under the post. So a chance for a New England record of points in a major international for Simon Hodgkinson. 21 in his tally. Lambert holds the record at 22. And Hodgkinson has 23, with the final kick of the match to round it off in perfect style, as England show they've rebounded from whatever disappointments they may have had at the end of last season and during the summer, with a try and a conversion that took them over the 50 points, 51 points to nil, and a brilliant performance, one or two lackluster moments at the end of the first half, and. Uh, passage in the second. The sadness of a sentence.